I want to talk about this deal to bring Mario Williams from the Buffalo Bills, who cut him, to the Miami Dolphins, where he's going to be paired with Nada Kamsu. Think about that. You're going to have Mario Williams, Nada Kamsu, defensive tackle, Kiko Alonso, and Cameron Wake. Oh, that's going to be incredible. Mario Williams will return to his 2014 form. And here's why I say that so absolutely unequivocally. Because Rex Ryan misused Mario. And Mario was right to say, hey, look, this is not the right scheme for us. You're having us drop back in the coverage, and that's not what we have made our money doing. He's right. You know... There is such a thing as letting a person do what they do best. Well, take a look at what the Houston Texans have done with Jadavian Clowney. No one anywhere, anywhere at all, is familiar with Jadavian Clowney because he dropped back from the coverage and picked off a pass and returned it 70 yards for a touchdown, let alone had, say, 5 to 10 interceptions a year. No. You know about Jadavian County because of the sacks and tackles behind the line of scrimmage he made in college. Most notably, remember against Michigan in the Cotton Bowl? That quite literal tackle of a shot heard around the world via social media, especially YouTube and Twitter. Whew. Man, it was something else. That play elevated Jadavian Clowney into the high level of the first round, alone. But I digress. Mario Williams has had similar success in the National Football League. He's had up to four and a half sacks against one opponent in a game. Incredible stuff. So, here Rex Ryan is going to put him in a position where, of all people, Mario Williams is dropping back to defend a pass as if he were a linebacker rather than an outstanding first pick in the NFL draft first round 2006 defensive end, and I was there when he was drafted, makes absolutely no sense at all. That's why I say that Mario Williams, who on the average is guaranteed about 9.6 to 10 sacks for the season, he's going to get that 14 again. He and Nada come make the Miami Dolphins defense more formidable. And not only that, with his wingspan, he's in a position to, to bat a lot of passes at the line of scrimmage, particularly from right-handed quarterbacks like Tom Brady. Now the Patriots will take their common approach. Short passing game, vertical not no they're not gonna throw a lot of verticals, they're gonna throw a lot of horizontal passes. The Dolphins key to dealing with this will be how good, how quick, and how reactive their secondary is and their scheme. But, again, I digress. Mario Williams is just the tonic the Miami Dolphins defense needs. Stay tuned.